Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov on Tuesday ruled out holding a second international meeting in a bid to defuse their crisis in Ukraine also saying it would be unusual to hold a presidential election in the country when the army was being deployed against the population. In what could be a sign of Moscow preparing to question the legitimacy of the May 25th presidential election if it is unhappy with the process, Lavrov said, in the situation where they use the army against their own population, it's quite unusual. This is not Afghanistan, this is a completely different situation, he said adding that constitutional reforms promised by Kiev's new leaders would not be implemented in time for the vote. Kiev security forces have launched their biggest effort yet to dislodge the pro-Russian militants who have overrun the south and east of the country, reportedly seizing buildings in dozens of towns and cities. Both sides clashed at the rebel stronghold of Slovyansk on Monday. Ukraine security services said 30 heavily armed militants had been killed in recent days as part of the anti-terrorist operation in the volatile region. The rising tensions could have an impact far beyond Ukraine's borders, NATO Secretary General Anders Fogh Rasmussen warned on Tuesday. Today we are facing the gravest crisis to European security since the end of the Cold War, he told reporters. But this is not just about Ukraine. This crisis has serious implications for the security and stability of the Euro-Atlantic area as a whole. Asked about a German proposal to hold a second international meeting on Ukraine, Lavrov said the agreements reached during the first round of talks in Geneva, Switzerland, last month still had not been implemented. He also called for pro-Russian sympathizers to be involved in talks. We already discussed the framework of the possible actions of stabilizing Ukraine. We already discussed it. There's no point doing it again, he said. Of course, it is possible, but we will walk in circles, and we will repeat the same things, and we will say again and again that we have to stick to the decisions which were already made, but it's up to the Ukrainians to realize that it's their country, that they have to live in peace between themselves. Lavrov was speaking after a meeting of the Council of Europe in the Austrian capital of Vienna, where the Ukrainian crisis dominated talks even though diplomatic efforts have done little to ease the situation. His words came as violence escalated, with Ukraine's military seeking to regain control of swaths of the country that pro-Russian militia groups have seized. Kiev and many in the West believe that the separatists are backed by Moscow and fear that Russian President Vladimir Putin is fomenting trouble to increase his influence in the region. Earlier, in remarks to reporters in Vienna, British Foreign Secretary William Hague accused Russia of seeking to undermine Ukraine's presidential elections. Russia seems to be intent on a course of preventing and disrupting those elections, he said. That is wrong, and I think there will be a very strong message from the great majority of countries here today that the Ukrainian elections must be allowed to go ahead. Hague said the doors to a diplomatic solution remain open. But he said that any chance of breathing new life into last month's international pact on Ukraine agreed to in Geneva would depend on all parties implementing it, including Russia. The US, Russia, Ukraine and the EU struck a deal in Geneva that included the disarming of militants, the departure of activists from occupied public buildings and a Ukrainian national dialogue on constitutional reform. As Russia and Ukraine are among the 47 member states of the Council of Europe, Lavrov and his Ukrainian counterpart, Acting Foreign Minister Andrei Dashchitsya, attended the Vienna talk.